Hi crafty friends, this is Pam and I thought I would share the Little Red Hen, the uh, journal that I've made. This one is uh, for Dawn. I thought I'd share it with you. I think I'm pretty much done with it. Um, it's an older book. I mean, it has a little wear to it, but um, that's the charm of it. I um, closure is this vintage um, a retro bed sheet with this little floral print and Dawn if you prefer um, a different closure if you want the eyelets and um, ribbon I can also do that just let me know what you prefer and um, it has a little um, book corners here I added this little fabric cluster here with this cute little button little burlap here and then I have um, crochet trim here and this is the spine really cute um, little chicken material it's two signatures sewn in and it turned out really cute with these little chickens here and little buttons, little daisy buttons, the red and the black. So I think that's really cute. There's the back, more of this crochet trim here. And um, this will be to record her memories of her grandma. So I think it's really cute. And this didn't have a name in it, so I left it blank here. And then it has crochet um, trim here. And um, it has really cute, some retro um, fringe here. Thought it was really cute with it. It's polka dot paper. And here is a little cluster. Look at the cute little chicken there with some burlap and crochet lace. See that? It's night here, so I don't hope my lighting is good. Then, we have um, beginning of the story, The Little Red Hen. 1982 is the last copyright here. I added this fabric pocket with a little crochet, I mean not crochet, applique, a daisy there. And then I have this little um, flower packet. And then her grandma also likes to, she liked to read her Bible. So I added some Bible verses throughout the journal. Cute little cherry paper there. And then I did some collage uh, paper that I cut into tags. So this is part of a collage. And then I added this little trim here. This book belongs to, that's um, digital from TLC Creates, or Creations. I added this cute little retro fabric there and here is some good paper writing paper and this is um the story of an egg i thought that was appropriate it was from a um, needlework book and here i have a little crochet or i guess that's crochet doily Put that here because her grandma crocheted. Um, so I added that there. And this is a digital. It's um, some retro fabric um, with some little ribbon here. Feed sack. It's like feed sack uh, material faux. And here's another one of my collage tags that I scanned and cut. It's fun to do to make those little collage uh, papers. Here's some retro type fabric, a little crochet lace, and some rickrack. This pocket, I have this little chore list, a to do list here, note paper. And then a flower card. There 
close the book. Little pretty paper here. And then this is a little envelope that tucks in here. And this flips up for writing. And I fussy cut these little canister and jar out and put them there. And then this is a little card. Farmer's Market. Cute little envelope that I made. Just tucks back in there. Oops, the other way. So, um, I think this would be fun to record her memories of her grandma. This is cute picnic type paper and you could journal here. And then I stamp throughout. Here is a little vintage, like a, it's like a button card with some lace here I added. Another little seed packet that you could journal on. And this is a fabric um, tag. It's so cute with this pink crochet tab here and this pretty pink button. And this is fabric that I sewed on. And you could journal on the back of that. I really like making those. Turned out really cute. And then this also opens up here. There's the pocket. So you could also journal here. And this is from Roxy's Creations. It's a doily that she has as a digital, or an embroidered piece, rather. And then here I added a big recipe card that you could add a recipe, or you could just journal. I thought the recipe cards would be kind of uh, neat in this farmhouse type journal. More writing paper. Here's from a quilt book. And here's part of the story. A cute. It's a cute book. Really cute book. Some more scrapbook paper. And then I stamped here. This jar it says enjoy everything. More writing space. Here's a little fabric cluster with the um, little chicken fabric. This little fabric and this. And there's a little wood butterfly there and here's the middle of the first signature here and you have a pocket with some crochet trim and a little flower and then we have this little tag a couple tags here's some note paper cute little fabric um, tie there. And this is um, Richard Scarry paper. He's gardening. I thought that would be a really cute envelope that I made. And then here's like a recipe card that you could put a recipe on or you could also use it as a journal card. Here we have another little seed packet and a little um, Bible verse and here's a recipe card and another place to journal and more writing paper that is folded in for writing And a little fabric tab there. Little um, jar here. And a card. Stamped here. Boots and a little watering can. This is from another quilt book. Graph paper. And here's another one from Roxy Creations. It's a digital of a doily. Here's some apple rolls recipe. And we have some more retro fabric here. The little 
um, button card and another little Bible verse. We have a little rent receipt and a little folder that you can put things in. This is from Tsunami Rose Digital. We have some writing space. The other side of that picnic page right here. And here's a little stamp. Here is a little flip and you have writing here. And then I added this little watering can and the little spade and garden tools because a little red hen is gardening. And here is a pocket that I added this zinnia flower card to. And then here I made some pretty um, little squares. They look like little quilt squares. So when you see the side, you can see the little um, you know, tags off the side of the book. But those are pretty. Here is a little cluster with some burlap and fabrics and lace and a button. A little recipe card and this is like a little receipt I believe this is tsunami rose that you can write on and there's that pocket cute little quilt book here page little sunbonnet girl and boy writing a little story and then I added this little um, plaid flannel tab here at the top and then we got this um, real pretty red um, gingham ruffle and then here are little drawers that I have little tags that you could journal on and this is uh, from a digital kit and these are feed sack fabrics got those two there that was really cute so that's the first signature here's the beginning of the second and then I have clipped here some note paper for journaling. More of this story. And here's some dyed paper. Another quilt book. This is from Roxy Creations, a, um, a copy of a, a little embroidered piece. Then I have another recipe card that you could journal on or add a recipe to. pocket and little red hen has got her apron on and uh, I have a little apron here you know grandma's all wear aprons so had to have that little apron there I thought that was really cute and some cherries there's another one of my digital scanned cards and here is a little receipt dry goods for journaling Then we have a little another canning jar and a Bible verse and a C packet. Good journal on the back. Another little stamp, writing, cute little water cans. And I love this fabric here with the little baby chicks, this pink crochet trim. And then this is a little booklet with writing paper and um, it's like pattern sewing pattern paper another quilt book and another stamp here is a, a chanel bedspread vintage pocket and it has a little sun bonnet girl charm Yeah. with another one of my collage tags and a seed pack. And then we have a little cluster here. It's the middle of the second signature. A tag, some notes, note paper, and then this 
open this up for writing. And you could write here. This is my happy place. And then here I have another recipe card that you could journal on or put a recipe. My collage. And there's also a place here you could tuck something. Pocket out of this little cluster here with the flowers and the trim. Place to put a picture and another little hardware grocery place to journal. It's really pretty paper there. There's another flip for writing. A little sticker, Be Full of Joy. Quilt. Writing space. So a pretty quilt there. I used to quilt, but um, I don't do that anymore. But I do have a lot of fabric still. And here's another one of these with a little, looks like a little patchwork quilt here. And then we have another of my um, scanned collage cards. There's some writing paper. card and a to-do list. So I hope you like this. Um, I hope it's what you're looking for. And here we have a little tab up here. With some stamping. And here I uh, sewed these little fabrics together for a heart pocket. And then added a little matchbook um, notepad with papers. So it's like a little matchbook because it goes like that. Tucks in that little heart pocket. And here's a flip tuck you could write here. A little cute chicken playing card and another Bible verse. dyed paper. And this is a hen quilt, so I thought that was fitting for the little red hen. And here's in the flannel plaid pocket with some cluster here, fabrics and rickrack and a little button and flower. And there's a little chicken thing for pictures. And then the really cute little fringe here. Oh, my lighting's okay. And then cute little milk bottles on the back. And with some more crochet trim here. So that is the little red hen. So I hope you like it. Uh, Dawn. This is reserved for Dawn. And then tomorrow I have three other little golden books um, that I will also share. And those will be going um, for sale in my eBay store. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. You have a great night. Bye-bye.